billion dollar industry. So yeah, if you if you're if you're getting bored in our industry, then yeah, you're not look, digging deep enough. So. <laughs> you need a bigger shovel. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So um, well, a question popped up, and it, it was around um, what, why do you think? I mean, you talked about you know going from your troubled teens into jumping at the deep end and getting into landscaping and feeling where you're, you found your home. What, why do you feel, you know, te- you know, lack of teenagers or the youth of today move into that landscape industry? What, what do you think the reason is, that barrier? I, I do think that there, um, we have lost our respect for manual labor and for um, the trades. Um, and I think that you know the the digital world has really shifted the mindset to to other ways of actualizing industry and profession. And the truth is, there is such honor. This is such honorable work. Uh, it's not dirty work. It's honorable work, and it's really, really important that. And this is why your show is so important because it is so important that those of us in the industry understand the honor in it. And then we act honorable in it and then present that, you know, honorable path to children. And it's not so much the kids that don't want to do it. It's the parents who don't want their kids to do it. Mm -hmm. Nobody, no parent hopes for the day their kid comes home and says, Hey mom, I'm going to be a landscaper. (laughs) Um, But it's, but it, you know, and I've worked in education for a really long time um, in education for the trades. And I honestly believe that our job as owners is to build organizations that are stable, compassionate, and supportive so that when somebody comes home and says, hey, I just got this job and their parents give them the 27 questions and reasons why not, they can say, oh, no, no, no they have health insurance. Oh, no, no, no. They have retirement, you know? Oh, no, they'll, they do tuition reimbursement. They, you know, so that, so that we are competing in a a culture of care for our employment, our employees, that is incredibly honorable. So I think that's part of it. And part of what I, the message that I want to bring across that this idea of the lifescape method and the, the idea of compassionate business means that we're looking at the people who work for us and helping them to scale their lives so that they can feel pride in doing this work. And I think little by little, that's going to change the mindset. 